continue the story of Youth on Fire Ministries of Ancillary, a group determined to inspire a difference in the youth of Ancillary and beyond. It started as a group within the Catholic Church, but broadened its outlook in its outreach to youth of all persuasions. Joining us to talk about that outreach and the experience is the Public Relations Officer, Kit Pupu. <music> My name is Kate Popo and I am the PRO of Even Fire Ministry. Kate, what first of all attracted you to this group? My gosh, I first, well, I have been part of the organization from its inception. I was attracted um, by its vision and its aim. I think what it really wants to do is get young people out of the community and doing things, you know, to get them involved in development, developing their own skills. When I looked around and in developing in Ancillary, I looked around and I noticed there were so many young people who have so much talent and it's just in it, it's just in them. They are naturally creative with their hands, with their voice, with their bodies. And I was just so attracted to all of the energies and all the vibrance that was part of the organization. So, and I've been here and I've been just being there and part of the spirit of it. I think that is what has kept me here and that is what keeps us going. You know, each person in the group and each individual difference, each individual talent and creativity just keeps us moving and going and growing. How has that impacted on the lives of the members of the group? Well, I think um, each person in this organization has um, grown and has developed from it. I think we are, because of what we do, we have encouraged them to express themselves creatively, be confident, be have a high self-esteem and just, I know that's cliche, but it is what we really do. We have a lot of young people who, if not even via ministry, what else would they have been doing? We have a lot of people who have talents, who can sew, who can sing, who can dance, who can, and we've never really gotten any formal training. Only a few of us have been with um, Spark, with Kentilia Louis, who has really tried to mold us. But apart from that, we not many of us have, not many of the other young people have given it, have been given any formal training. So those of us who have been trained, we're just using what we have to mold the innate abilities and just have the students just blossom, have the young people just blossom into what they really are. One, two, three, four, To reconcile something for me, um, we talk about all that creativity, all that talent that you have in the community, the history as well, and yet still I see quite a number of youth who are on the at risk, on borderline, on the block, doing nothing. How can you reach out to those guys? Our biggest problem in Ancillary, and I think it that problem has stemmed from the generations before us. It is, I think, we really have a problem with our mindsets in the community, where we are our own um, hindrances. We are ourselves keeping ourselves behind. Um, we have launched an education fund. That education fund is there to um, support young secondary school students who are not able to complete secondary school. We've looked at the community and we've noticed that quite a number of students, they drop out of school, particularly because they are not able to financially complete it. So we've started an edu education fund and we're reaching out to members of the community, members of St. Lucia to support us, donate, donate, pledge a certain amount, could be small, whatever, to help support this cause. Because we really need to um, help these secondary school students to complete secondary school. The Youth on Fire Ministries, along with other groups in the community, are planning to honor the memory of the lady who inspired their existence in a special performance and tribute, which will be held in a few weeks' time. Calabash Community will be there to document the tribute and celebration of the life of the community's foremost cultural icon. And that is how we conclude our visit to Ancillary this evening on Calabash Community. Join us again as we tour another community. I am Bernard Fannis. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. yeah.